Welcome back to Old Masters Merger. I'm going to be describing how to mix our Flemish Merger medium into a piece of yellow ochre that came straight out of the tube. Now I'm using a very high quality paint here, which means it doesn't have a lot of oil. It has a lot of pigment in it, so it's a little bit stiffer than your average paint, but that's a good thing. It will require a little bit more medium uh, in order to get it to the right consistency, which is usually something like mayonnaise for most people. Now here we have the Flemish Merger medium, which is a gel. You can see it also has some liquid running off of it, which is quite normal, and is also used to thin down the paint to the right consistency. So I'm going to move the Merger out of the way just to give us a little more room on camera. I'm going to pick up a small amount of that Merger relative to how much ochre I have up there. You can see what's on my palette knife compared to how much uh, paint we have here. I'm also going to be picking up a little of that liquid. Now watch. I incorporate the merge into the ochre pretty haphazardly. I'm just trying to incorporate it into this pile, nothing too fancy, using a long diamond-shaped palette knife. This is the easiest kind of knife to use for this sort of manipulation. Now once it's all incorporated, I like to scoop it towards me and flip it away. Of course, you're on the opposite side, so you're seeing it backwards, but I'm scooping it towards me and flipping away, scooping towards, flipping away. You do this a number of times until it's completely incorporated. And let's pretend this is the spot on the palette where the paint is going to end up. Let's say this is the final parking place for your yellow ochre. You simply pick it up on the palette knife, flip it over one last time, and leave it in a beautiful pile there, and now it's ready to use in your painting.